Hi everyone. So I have this uh, weller soldering station uh, for about two years now. So this is a dual station. Uh, so it can take two uh, two irons. So this model number is WT2M and it's a uh, 150 watt soldering station. So I found a bug in this station. So uh, so this issue used to happen uh, sometimes, and I was not able to figure out why this thing keeps on happening. Uh, so I will just show you how to reproduce this bug and this is something uh, about this station so this station is not a particularly cheap station and uh, so if you if you go uh, go and search for this particular station so it comes with the uh, uh, soldering uh, iron that is WMRP that's a 50, uh, 55 watt and it comes with the con comes with this uh, tweezer also so out of the box you can see the quality what weller gives uh, it came like this actually so this abs plastic was not particularly form well and so about the quality in this particular uh, just to get this holder if you see the price of this holder is not cheap but uh, if you see the quality what they are giving it's very bad actually and i reported that on their forum also uh, they pretended uh, that uh, that someone will call me back, but no one uh, ever did. So yeah, and you can uh, similarly find another videos where people are complaining that uh, this uh, aluminium coating, what they have done here, that is conductive. It's it is chipping, and then this iron becomes useless because uh, it uh, shorts from inside. So I'll try to show you the issue. So let's power this. So this unit, uh, what I saw was that uh, sometimes uh, like. Uh, it keeps losing the brightness settings and uh, after like uh, one month then the setting will be like the brightness will be set to zero so i will just show you i'm not sure uh, it happens on the power cycle sometimes so like now i have set it to 50 the brightness is set to 50 okay so i will just quickly cycle the power on and off and i will show you so so I did it one time. Let's see if we can reproduce that issue. So I think now it has not. This time you can still see it is 50. Again I will try to do. So now I think it has reduced. So let's see. No, not yet. Okay, so now I am sure it has reduced now. So if you can see it has come to 40 now. Okay, so uh, so it took some time for me to reproduce it, but this is something that I don't do. So means in my day to day use, I don't do this. But uh, uh, after like I have seen it many times that the brightness is set to zero. So uh, somehow it is doing it. So like that, uh, each time now, whenever that thing happens, it will keep reducing the brightness. So, so that is the bug that I saw that. It means if I'm paying so much for uh, such a uh, such a station, then it should have better quality. Uh, that is what is my expectation. You, uh, I will show you one more thing. See this. Um, I will just show you means this uh, these uh, this soldering tip holders are not cheap uh, if you see the price they are they are very expensive and see the kind of strain relief they are giving they they are not giving anything on this see this this is their strain relief okay so this cable doesn't have anything this is like hard plastic here okay so uh, so one station uh, the tweezers have a better strain relief what i would say uh, here they have a better strain relief uh, and the soldering iron has this hard plastic but 
and the other way around so this uh, this the tweezer or the strain relief here is uh, nothing actually this one jacket if you open this they will see they have put one uh, zip tie and that's all so it's i don't know what what they have made it uh, yeah uh here the strain relief is proper on one side so both both the products one side the strain relief uh, is very bad so so this is the holder so if if you try to buy this holder alone then so this also costs a lot actually so so i was very really dis disappointed by the quality of the product they have made here and even the dave jones has done uh, done a review on these uh, his soldering iron uh, uh, uh that is similarly like that's a lower end uh, version of this but actually this doesn't have that issue i i can just show you so this has a inbuilt fuse actually if you see here so they here the, they have given a fuse so yeah so input side it's protected i would say but for the price what you are paying you are not getting uh, the quality i would say yeah i hope weller is watching this and they will improve it in future